Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be stuffing my sinking funds. Um, so let's count this money. And as you guys know, I am only stuffing uh, prop hundreds now because I um, can't trust people here in my house. <laughs> um, so here we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, and then one real hundred. 720, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000, <clears throat> 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, so 220, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. Oh my gosh, they are not in order. 90, 95, 300, 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. 325, you guys, I'm so sorry. I... Did not have those in order at all, but we got through it. Okay, so you guys, I made this dashboard and um, I'm in love with it. It's so nice. Excuse the nails, you guys. I'm in the middle of, um, I'm about to do my nails. So hopefully I'll have my nails done by the next video. But um, yeah, I didn't have time this time for this video, so. But yeah, so look at my dashboard, you guys. It's so pretty. I was going to do them for sale, but then I thought about it. I was like, mm, maybe not. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. Okay, so for Sway, which is my son, he is going to get $100. Oh, and I switched back to my old envelopes, you guys. Um, I got tired. Well, I didn't get tired of them. I just... I'm in the middle of making new binders so that way I have more sinking funds because I feel like now that I'm not paying off debt, I can allocate more money into my sinking funds. So um, I switched back to these, but I'm in the middle of making new envelopes and binders. So you guys will see that in the next video. But for now, my son has $200. And these are my laminated $100 which um, I ordered new prop money and I will have that soon in my shop. Um, and stay tuned because they are so cute. Okay, so car maintenance is gonna get $100. And car maintenance now has 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, and 65. Oh my God, Momo, really? 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 This is what... <laughs> Excuse my cat, you guys. Momo! Get off, get off, get off. Sorry about that, you guys. Okay, so... That is car maintenance. Oh, I'm struggling to put them in because they hurt, you guys. I didn't I didn't take off the sides like I should have, and they hurt. Okay, so car registration is gonna get forty dollars. Now with this one, you guys, I did have five hundred last time, and I paid off my car registration, which was three hundred dollars. So, um, I I left the two hundred dollars. And I'm going to slowly be stuffing this one, but this won't be until next year. And it's not due until November of next year. So I've got plenty, plenty of time. So I'm just going to be stuffing little bits here and there. And I think I'm only going to make it 400 because this time I had 500 and my car registration was only $300. So I'm just going to make it 400 just to have a little buffer in there. So for now, I'm just going to stuff $40. So here's 20 Oh, that was too much. Oh my gosh. I'm 40. Okay. So now we have 100. Oh, and this one's not laminated, but it's still okay. So 
Let's do it this way. 100, 200, 20, and 40. Okay. So 240 from registration. And it's so funny because I'm already like halfway there. And I literally have more than a year to go for the next registration. So I'm well ahead on my way. Car insurance is going to get $100. So car insurance now has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 20, 25. So 525. And on this one, I do want to get it to 1100 um, by, I think it's January. <clears throat> by January of next year, I want to get it to 1100. So I think that's how much it's going to be. Okay, for Christmas, Christmas is going to get $100. And I say it every time, you guys. I feel like I'm behind on this, but um, I think I'm going to be stuffing this more often. So for Christmas, we now have 500, 600, 700, 20, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, and 55. So, I mean, 755, it's not bad. But I do feel like I could, I don't know. Does anybody else feel like they're behind on their Christmas savings? I don't know why I feel like I'm super behind. I think I, because I wanted 1500 in here and I only have what, 700? And we have like two months left to save. I need to get on that. <laughs> For medical, I'm not gonna stuff anything on medical. For laundry, laundry's gonna get $40. So here's 20 and 40. Okay, for vacation, my vacation is going to get $219 um, because I'm super behind on this. I haven't even bought my plane ticket, you guys. And the trip is in October. And I know the sooner you buy it, the cheaper it is. So I need to get on that. I just, it's really hard to coordinate with people who, I mean, because the way the trip is, they're going to Disneyland for a week. And then on that weekend, they're going to Vegas. So I'm just going to meet them at Vegas, but they don't have everything Quite planned out yet so I'm just waiting for them to give me like exact dates and times so that way I can get a ticket but it's kind of hard when they don't know what they're doing quite yet okay so vacation is gonna get 219 so here's 100 200 5 10 15 And then one, oh my gosh, these two, three, four, these ones are really ugly and old. Oh my gosh. All right, so for vacation, we now have 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. So. What was it, two? 300, okay, 389. That's not bad, right? It's not bad, but I mean, for vacation, we're gonna go to Vegas, so I don't think 300 is enough for Vegas at all. <laughs> so, especially when I gotta buy the plane ticket. Oh my God, why is this not fitting in there? Especially when I gotta buy the plane ticket? Mm, I don't know. I gotta get on this, you guys. And then I have an update for you guys on my job i don't know if you guys seen the last video oh my god i don't know if you guys seen the last video where they were like trying to like cut my pay not trying to they did <laughs> okay so for momo and demon um let's see what did i put for them oh i don't think i put anything for them this time that's okay that's okay all right couponing um I didn't put anything, but I should because I'm starting to coupon you guys. I got so much free toilet paper last week. It was so exciting. Yeah, <laughs> that's how old I am, you guys. I got super excited over free toilet paper. But if you guys need tips on couponing, you guys, I, I'm i not that good, but I've been doing it for like maybe four years now. And um, I tend to get a lot of free stuff, but um, yeah. 
I, I stopped couponing for a while because I had too much stuff and I was like, yo, I'm never going to use all this. So I started giving a lot of it away to my family. And um, maybe like oh, about a few months ago, I was like, holy crap, I am low on everything. I need to start couponing again, which I find couponing fun. So I was like, okay. So I started couponing again. And <clears throat> I want to say within two weeks, I stocked up on a lot of paper towels, a lot of toilet paper, a lot of shampoos, body wash and um i like it um if you do it right you can stock up on everything within a month if you know how to coupon properly so i mean i, I think it's nice you know i don't have to have a household uh envelope because i could have a couponing envelope and get everything for the household f for a very low price <clears throat> and as you guys know i do live in san francisco so everything is like super expensive so when i can get something for a dollar Trust me, I will get it for a dollar because times are hard out here, you guys. Times are very hard out here. Okay, so for 2K savings, we had $166 to put in here. So we are going to put our last placeholder, 66, right? So 20, 40, 60, 65, 66. So we have 100, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing, 120, 40, 60, 65, 66. All right, you guys, and um, we should count it, right? We should count it because this is my Vegas money, you guys. This is definitely what I'm going to be using for Vegas because I don't know. I didn't plan accordingly, and that's my fault. That's definitely my fault. I don't know. They also didn't give us a very long like notice. So, so for my 2K savings, we now have 500, 600, 700, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 900, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 okay that's not bad now this is vegas money <laughs> granted i don't um gamble or anything but i know i'm not gonna want to go over there and not be able to buy whatever i want you know i want to go worry free and not have to worry about oh my god i don't have enough for this i don't have enough for that am i gonna have enough for this you know i don't want to go so that is what we're doing so that is for my sinking funds now let's do my 100 envelope challenge so how many did i choose last time i think it was like eight you guys i really want to finish this by the end of the year and that is why like i'm doing super extra but i have like quite a few left and i feel like because i'm only stuffing them twice a month i feel like i need to get on it because we have what september october november december we only have four months left so i gotta get on it you guys i really really do so we have 89 67 73 95 29 30 34 and 37 all right so let's start with 89 so here's 20 40 60 80 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. You guys have got some ugly money today. Oh my gosh. So here's 20, 40, 60, 80. Where'd that five go? 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. All right. So you guys, um, let's do the update on my on my job employer people i mean as i as i said last time you guys i honestly don't have any complaints on them like i love my job i love my hours i love what i do i enjoy it i just don't enjoy the pay they tried to give me so i don't know if you, I, I said it last time they tried to cut my pay in half literally in half literally like when i mean in half like i mean in half so they um 
So they told me that they were paying me the wrong pay and they wanted me to sign a piece of paper saying that um, they will be paying me half of what they're paying me, right? And this is at my 90, um, my 90, 90 day evaluation or whatever. I guess they were doing an audit on me or something and they, they noticed that I was getting the wrong pay. So they had told me I had to sign a paper. Either I sign the paper or I resign. Um, stating that they were going to pay me half of what they were already paying me. And I was like, yo, but we have a contract, right? So I contacted a lawyer that day because honestly, I was like, I don't know. I could not sleep. I could not. I couldn't think about anything. I was just like so frustrated. And I was like, I don't understand. How can they do this? You know, can they do this is the question. So I contacted a lawyer that day and the lawyer stated, so 34, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Okay, so the lawyer stated, he goes, okay, send over the contract, you know, and send over what they sent over now and let me see, you know, what's going on. So I sent it to him and he goes, okay. He goes, so, you know, I don't think it's right what they're doing. He goes, I see that they literally cut it in half. He goes, however, if you look at paragraph four, there is a sentence that says they are able to change anything as to meet the company's needs, something like that. You know, he goes, and with that clause, they are able to change anything, meaning your pay, your benefits, um, you know, whatever they need to change, they could change it whenever they want because it literally states if the company needs to do this, they will do it. 37. So I was like, so there's nothing I can do. And he was like, no, honestly, he goes, other than getting a different job, he goes, I don't think that's a good pay for a nurse. But <clears throat> he goes, they're doing everything properly. Now, let me tell you what they're trying to do and the reason they're doing it. And I, I honestly, like the last time I made the video, I was so frustrated. Like I couldn't even explain it to you guys. So what they're doing is, so I don't know if you guys know, I do work 15 and a half hours a day. I work 5 p.m. to 8.30 a.m., no lunches, no breaks, but I do work from home, so I'm just sitting at home waiting for a call, basically. Um, I do have a lot of downtime. However, they, what they're trying to do, so they want to pay me my rate at, okay, so my rate for 80 hours because I'm work one week off, one week, one week on, one week off. So my rate for 80 hours, whatever that totals, they're trying to make my pay less since I'm paying, since I'm working more hours to equal out for 80 hours of my actual pay. Does that make any sense? <laughs> so essentially they're only trying to pay me for 80 hours at the rate that they said they were going to pay me. And I'm working 105 hours a week. So meaning they're paying me less to equal out those 80 hours. And um, the lawyer goes, it's not right what they're doing, but it's legal. They're going around it and they're doing it the legal way because on your paycheck, it still looks like you're working, you know, your 80 hours plus all your OT, they're paying it out and they're giving you um, that lunch incentive since you're not taking a lunch. He goes, they're doing all that, but at the rate that they're trying to pay you now, it equals as if you were working 80 hours at the actual pay they said. And I was like, yeah, I was like, is that legal? And he goes, they're doing it the legal way. He goes, if you accept this, they are able to do it because to, to the state, it looks like they're still paying you out for all that OT and everything. And I was like, it's not fair. And I was telling my mom, I was like, it's not fair because I'm working a lot more than 80 hours, right? So they're only trying to pay me for 80 hours. But then my mom was like, you know, she was like, humble yourself because you work what two three hours out of that 15 hours you literally do two or three calls she goes you're at home most of the time with your child she goes um a lot of the times you don't really get calls and you're sleeping <clears throat> she's like you get to sleep on the clock and i was like you're right you have a point like i am home most of the time and sometimes i'll get orders on etsy and i'll be able to do those while i'm on the clock or i'll be able to make videos while i'm on the clock so um 
my mom was like, you know, either you find another job where you're going to have to be over in a facility or a place for eight hours straight and you're not going to be at home. You're going to come home tired. You're going to want to sleep or, you know, keep this job, you know, at the rate that they're paying you. You're still getting paid that rate for 80 hours, but technically you're not really even working those 80 hours. You're working what maybe half of that, like 40 hours that week. She goes, so, I mean, it's kind of, like, worth it, right? And I was like, you're right. You're definitely right. Not only that, like, I was redoing my resume. And on my re so I've only been with this company for four months. So I don't think it'll look right for me to leave the company in four months and have it on my resume, right? So I was like, maybe I'll stick it out for six months. But then thinking about it, I don't know. Like, I really like this company. It's just they went about it all wrong. You know what I mean? Let's do 95. 20, 40, 60. 80, 85, 90, 95. So, um, yes, you guys, I ended up staying with them. Um, even my supervisor, because I guess she thought I was going to quit because she had already had, she already had someone to cover my shifts. And, um, she goes, are you okay with it? And I was like, you know what? I'm okay with it for now. Like, I don't know about the future, but we will see how this goes. And she was like, okay. And she goes, I mean, she goes, technically it's worth it though. You're getting paid that rate for 80 hours. And I was like, yeah, but I'm not getting, I'm not working 80 hours. And yes, I'm at home, but at the same time, like I'm still anticipating a call. I'm still waiting. You know, I'm putting my life on hold for those hours because, you know, I'm waiting for calls. So in a way I'm okay with it. In a way I'm not. So, I don't know. You guys let me know down below what you guys would do because... I mean, the fact that they changed my pay, I think that's what makes me mad more. 60, 65, 66, 67. I think that's what makes me mad more, you know? I think if they would have initially started it like this, I wouldn't have had a problem. Or I probably would have had a problem. I just probably wouldn't have taken it because um, at my other place, they were paying me maybe a few dollars less than here, but I was still getting all the OT I wanted, you know? And they were actually paying me the OT at my OT rate. But um, here, it's essentially as if I wasn't working any OT with my regular rate. So, I don't, it's confusing, you guys, but it makes sense. And even the lawyer, he said, you know, they're doing it the legal way and there's really nothing we can do. And with that clause that they have on the contract, they can legally change it whenever they want. He goes, but with that being said, if you wanted to fight it to where you quit and, you know, you don't, I have to pay that back that bonus he goes you can totally do that and i'm pretty sure you wouldn't have to pay it but i was like you know i'm already here i'm already comfortable i already know the job i don't really feel like going to learn another job or like get to know more people or like having to be somewhere for a straight eight hours and doing some a job you know like i'm okay with it for right now so i'm gonna stick to it i just don't know how my paychecks are gonna come out they're probably gonna come out to half of what they've been coming out and um i'm just gonna have to deal with it you guys i'm definitely just gonna have to deal with it um you know what you guys <laughs> i'm over here blabbing away i didn't even realize oh my goodness 34 37 i think the 95 one i ended up Instead of 95, I think I put the $100 bill in there. Because I was like, why do I have a $100 bill? So in the box, you guys, I decided to keep putting real hundreds in here. Only because I already, like, have most of the box with real money. I don't think it would be okay to, like, start changing it up. And I really don't feel like going through them and seeing, you know, where the hundreds are. So I think I'm just going to keep this to real money. And then these are going to be, like, prop money. So. Uh, this one's okay. So let's do 29, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Sorry, you guys, I'm all over the place. It just gets me all riled up, you know, to think that like companies can screw you over like that. And you know what? <laughs> Just a, a few days before they had get, said all that, um, one of my coworkers had come up to me and she was like, you know, we're very grateful to have you on the team. She goes, you're super nice and, you know, you don't complain about anything and, you know, you're always available and willing to help out wherever we send you. And I was like, yeah, you know, I don't have a problem with it. 
and now that i think about it i think they probably like seen that or noticed that or like you know someone probably said something about that because i had told them like it it helps that i love my job and i don't mind you know working it's not really a job to me it's it's exciting so i was like it 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 helps that I like my job. So that's why I'm like more willing to do above and beyond, you know? <sighs> but I'm wondering if that had anything to do with it because I don't know, at this point, I feel like I'm getting taken advantage of. And I'm super nice. My fiance was livid, you guys, livid. She was like, no, like how are they gonna take advantage of you like that? How are they gonna walk all over you like that? She goes, and you're the nicest person I know. I don't understand why they would do it to you. And I was like, because I, they probably thought I was just gonna sign it and go. She goes, yeah, I'm pretty sure you would have if I wouldn't have said anything. I was like, you're right, I would have. Like, I would have been like, okay, I guess, you know? But um, I did put up a, mini, a, a tiny little fight, but at the end I just gave in. I was like, you know what, I'm really not, I don't have the fight in me and I don't really want to like be on bad terms with people that I work with, you know, because if I'm gonna stay here, and even if I would have won, if they paid me at that rate for the rest of the year, and I would have stayed there, I wouldn't have been comfortable, you know? And I kept telling my mom that. I was like, I'm not gonna be comfortable if, you know, we end up all on bad terms and I have to work with these people. I'm just not gonna be comfortable at work. I'm gonna wanna quit and it's gonna be a lose-lose either way. So, ended up staying, you guys, for now. And I'll make the most of it. So 73, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 71 72 73 oh i have an extra dollar well guess this is gonna get an extra dollar that's okay i don't mind i don't mind putting an extra dollar in here you guys i think like one or two have extra money but not very, not very often that i'm able to put extra money in here so oh, sorry guys i had to make sure i was recording i didn't even realize I didn't, I didn't remember if I pushed record or not. <laughs> Let me stop. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you know what? Same thing as last time. I forgot to scratch off more of the 2K challenge and choose these. So let's choose these for now. How many should I choose? I'm going to do eight again, you guys. Only because I really don't have any debt to pay off. So I have all my money going here. All my leftover money going here so let's do eight. Oh my god this is getting really hard you guys really hard to yeah i think i'm gonna need a bigger box <laughs> okay we have 85 50 43 42 93 i'm just pulling random ones you guys 40 38 49 and 48 oh i chose nine this time oh my gosh Oh, well, this is what it's going to be because I'm trying to finish this box, you guys. I'm really trying to finish this box. So these are the nine that I'm going to do next time. So 85, 50, 43, 42, 93, 40, 38, 49, and 48. A lot of 40s and 30s in this one, huh? Okay. Oh, my gosh. You guys, this is getting hard to put in. Oh, I don't think they fit. No, they have to fit, right? They have to? They have to. They have to. Yes, they have to. Okay, there we go for that. Let's scratch off some for the 2K challenge. Oh my god. Am I tripping? I'm tripping. Oh my god, I'm tripping. Okay, so give me one second. Let's get a marker and something to scratch off with. What am I gonna scratch with? Oh my God. Um, we're gonna scratch with my, my Cricut tool. <laughs> okay, so we did this one, this one, this one, and this one, right? So should we scratch off four, another four? Let's do another four, yeah? <clears throat> okay, let's do this one. Okay, that's 28. Let's do this one. Okay, that's 30. Let's do this one. 
29 and let's do this one in the corner 25 okay so we have 30 50 60 70 84 dollars no wait 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 hold on what is this one 28 20 50 60 70 80 90 9 107 112 i believe you guys my head's not working today let's get the calculator if i don't find it i don't even know where my calculator is you guys i am losing my mind for real for real Well, I can't find it, you guys, but I'll let you guys know in my next video how much it is because I can't count for shit right now. Sorry. Excuse the language. Um, but yes, so we are almost done with this challenge, you guys, and it kind of hurts me that I'm going to have to take it to... No, no, no. I was going to take it to Vegas before finishing it, but you know what we're going to do? We are going to finish it. That is what we're going to do. We are going to finish it, and that is that. We have no choice, right? Yep, that's what we're going to do. I made up my mind. <laughs> I made up my mind, you guys. We're going to finish it. So I have all of September and half of October to finish it. So we have about three or four paychecks. Possibly three. Three paychecks. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Twenty-four divided by three. That is going to be eight eight each time holy moly i don't know if that's gonna be possible we are gonna do our best we are gonna finish as much as we can but i'm determined to finish it you guys i'm determined i am determined but um that is it for the video thank you so much for watching thank you for listening to my little rant and ramble about my job don't get me wrong i love my job i love what i do i enjoy it i I don't know. I just, I feel like this was my calling. I really enjoy it. I just, I'm not okay with what they did. <laughs> if that makes any sense. But um, yes. So if you guys have any questions or suggestions, let me know what you guys would have done in my situation. Go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. And um, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.